looking, fires down the middle, intercepted screen. Buster screen to the 30, to the 25, to the 20, and it's Chattanooga's own. So Buster, you are one of the most experienced Titans in terms of NFL experience, nearly 160 games, but you're one of the most inexperienced in terms of playoffs. How does that feel to be sort of the new guy again, huh? <laughs> Well, it feels good, definitely, to be in the playoffs. And um, last year, I had got a concussion late in the season, so I couldn't play. And the Chicago Bears played the Saints. So, you know, it was a bummer sitting out. But I'm just glad I'm here. How did you get here? How did that happen in November? Free agency. I didn't like my offers. And I ended up waiting. And the teams that offered me ended up pulling them. I said I didn't want to be on the practice squad because I know I can still play at a high level. And Tennessee gave me a chance and you know, it worked out. What's the key to being a guy who can just basically show up and then four or five days later play and play well? I would say uh, experience is big and then like the mental part of the game, I always had like high confidence. So anybody I line up against, like I feel like I'm gonna win every day, but just a high confidence guy. A lot of your attributes stand out as we've watched you over the past two months play for the Titans. Your smarts, your toughness, but what really jumps out is you appear fearless. Have yeah. you always been fearless? I've always been fearless. Um, I grew up like wrestling and stuff like that. So I think it probably started there and having like older cousins that were, you know, always like push me around and stuff. You know, I've just never been scared to hit anybody, even though I weigh. We're not going to say how much I weigh, but I don't weigh a lot. <laughs> but that's just been my mentality. Now, when you talk about wrestling, you're not talking about Ric Flair and the Macho Man. You're nah. talking about, which is fine. Yeah. You're talking about real wrestling. Yeah, real wrestling. Now, what did you do coming up in terms of wrestling? What weight did you wrestle at, and how successful were you? So I was uh, 124. I don't even know if they use that as a weight class right now. But um, I was always small in high school. That was my weight class. I ended up graduating at 140 pounds. You know, I had partly to do why I ended up at Chattanooga, just a smaller guy. But uh, everybody knows wrestling. Like, you have a certain mentality. It kind of just carries over. I think just over time, I built up, like, a certain mentality mentally to, like, always win. And I did win state, and I went undefeated that season. So that's just been me. Did you think about wrestling in college? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly didn't en enjoy, like, the sport of wrestling. I was good, but I didn't enjoy it. But you obviously love football. Why do you love football so much? I would say just um, it takes a group of guys to come together and all believe like in the scheme. It doesn't matter how good you are, but like everybody has to come together, believe in the scheme, whether it's good or bad, and you can win the game. So playing it throughout the week, like that whole process, just being able to show guys now, like this is what we do as vets and this is why we got there. I think that's pretty cool, just being in a position. So 140 pounds graduating high school, you end up at Chattanooga, you fight your way into the NFL and, and have a, a lot of success. Like I said, nearly 160 games in the league. How will you feel when you take the field in the divisional round for your first playoff game? It's gonna feel good and uh, no moment's too big, so I'm not gonna like overthink it or anything like that. Just gonna go out there and try to win, that's it.